Hey guys, welcome back to an all new Cold Culture Automotive video. I'm Blake Cole, and this is the most unique grill on a 22 F-150. Let me show you how I did it. Okay, so now we're out in the garage. It is nighttime. It's actually like two o'clock in the morning here. With my work schedule, it just makes it easier for me to be able to do these things late at night like this. I'm not gonna go too deep in how to take out the OEM grill because YouTube channels like Stage Street Motorsports already have a video on that. Matter of fact, it's a video I'm using. So if you want to see how to take out the grill, make sure you go check out them. They would do a way better job of explaining it than me. Oh, um, sorry. I have a dog and he's like a puppy so i kind of have to keep an eye on him so he's out here in the pen watching me but uh, anyway yeah so i'm gonna get this pulled out let's get this new one in okay so here is the grill there is an awesome light bar it is a raptor simulated grill i'm gonna put four letters on I wrapped those myself, they look like crap, so I'm not gonna zoom in. Something I'm super happy about is when I bought this, um, they made it seem like I'm gonna have to splice the wires myself, but here's a harness adapter right here, which I am super excited about, so that's gonna make everything way, way easier for me. And these right here are gonna be how I screw these on. So maybe I'll show you guys a little bit of that, but let me show you what it looks like with the letters on. Okay, so it looks pretty good. To be honest with you, this took really long time, uh, mostly because the O, and the O still kind of looks off to my eye. Yeah, I think it actually is all straight now. Finally looks good. I guess if I put it on the truck, it looks like crap. I'm gonna have to take it off. Do it all over again anyway. But yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Again, the vinyl um, I did pretty quickly. I think you know most people aren't gonna come up and look at it real close. And again, I wrapped it myself for wrapping all four of these. Maybe took me 15 minutes, which is pretty good. But you know, obviously it's not a professional job or anything like that. But now that I have everything on here ready to go, everything except my camera mount, which is gonna go somewhere, somewhere like that, I guess. Like that probably. Um, this was a big reason why I wanted to keep my letters wrapped. That way you would focus on those and not really focus on here. If you don't have the 360 camera, system on your truck then you won't have to worry about this you have that nice clean finished look but uh you know i have that off-road system so i'm gonna need to install this probably gonna be there somewhere but i figure the red and then the light bar is gonna draw the eye away from this it's not horrible looking it's not like super ugly but it's not very favorable either got the whole grill out so now now there's a few things extra i'm gonna have to do um, I'm gonna have to take out my camera module and then I'm also gonna have to take out the engine heater assembly thing that's in here and then I'll have to put that on my new grill and then install that. So I'm gonna figure that out. Alright, so let me do my best to show you guys something. So this is the camera mount system. Look how much the camera sits out of there. So I'm gonna have to do some jerry rigging. Probably gonna go through with the 3D printer pen I was showing earlier and create a bezel around this. But there's another problem here. This right here is to wash off your um, camera, your camera lens, I should say, when it gets dirty off-roading. So I'm gonna have to cut a hole somewhere here that'll perfectly fit the uh, little cover and, and camera washer. It doesn't say anywhere in this kit that it won't fit lariats or above, but it doesn't. It's not just plug and play for lariats or above. You know, it's definitely taking a lot of work on my behalf to kind of get this where it needs to be. This is a trim piece that is made to shut these little vents and let your vehicle warm up. I believe these are only on the V8s, but I don't really know, so don't take my word for it. Yeah, this was really hard to remove, and I'm not sure how I'm gonna fit it onto that grill. I do know one thing, is I'm not giving up, um, but it is four o'clock in the morning. I started this whole adventure at about 12 at night, wrapping the letters. This has probably been the most challenging automotive thing I've ever had to do. My truck is not put together at all, but I'm gonna have to pull it out and park it and wait till tomorrow. So yeah, I'm defeated if you can't tell. It's like four in the morning and it is not even kidding you like 90 degrees. It's pretty ridiculous here. So I'm over it right now, but I'm gonna shower, get some water in me, sleep, and I'll be ready in the morning to uh, tackle this challenge. So uh, I'll see you in the morning. Alrighty, so it is the next day and I am feeling way better. And this is just me kind of showing you guys what I had to do. I 3D printed everything to get kind of plastic welded on there. And I cut out a hole for it to fit because it wouldn't fit otherwise with that camera washer. Um, I did all that with a Dremel. I think it looks pretty good. And now onto the headlight, which was only a couple of bolts and a tab. And then you can wiggle everything free with a little bit of force.
now that you can see the back of the headlight, I am zooming into that harness right there. You're just gonna unplug that, plug it into the harness that came with the grill, and then go ahead and pull that wire over out into the front and make sure you don't squish any of the wires. Uh, make sure everything's put in the right way. And then you can kind of just push your headlight back into position and bolt it back into place. So after doing all that, it finally occurred to me that I should probably test it because I haven't tested the grill the whole time and making sure that the LEDs actually work and that it actually fits. This is how everything is being held in place. I know it looks crazy, but it does its job and it does it well. Finally, it is time to install the grill itself. Um, you know, it wasn't that hard to install. I ended up figuring out a way to get that uh, air shroud to work. I basically put the air shroud in first and then put the grill in after it and tighten them both down to the front of the truck because they have their own kind of bolt down, bolt in spots. And then with those plastic tabs on top, everything got clipped in and it's all ready to go. Alrighty, so this was by far the most difficult automotive thing I've ever done. Um, not because of anything special to do with it, like the installing the grill or taking out the grill. That part was really easy, really simple. Um, even like taking out headlights on this truck is really, really simple. If you could turn a wrench, you could do it pretty easily. You know, this camera system right here was very difficult to do uh, because the housing was only made for the camera by itself. So it was only a camera relocation bracket, but not a camera and uh, like window cleaner. It's not window cleaner, but camera cleaner. The, the little extruder that comes out and shoots water and cleans off your uh, camera from when, when you're off-roading or whatever you're doing. It didn't have anything for that. So I had to remake this entire housing capable to do that, which was very, very difficult. You can see what I did with a 3D printer pen. It's ghetto rigged. It's not very professional by any means, but it works. The red letters I did in like, literally 15, 20 minutes very quickly. So they don't look perfect, but they look pretty good from a distance. And overall, I love this light bar up front. Let's see if you guys can see. It has that really cool animation. It's hard to tell because, you know, frame rate right now. So that is going to be it for this video. Hey, if you like what you see here, please, please, please make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you next time. Peace.